what as someone who's been so serious with it for over 20 years what do you think are the top three air jordans of all time i, w- I would say the black on black 11s i just think is the number one the, jordan the, the the black on black or the black the, the, bread? the black and red the, the black bread. and red 11s the bread 11s, the black yeah. and red 11s like to me when them shoes came out they like like they did something like that shoe was the shoe that created the violence in the hood. And I might I shouldn't be saying this because that's not a good thing to say, but I've that heard, I've shoe, heard that before, yeah. That shoe is the shoe that created people getting killed over Jordans. That's the shoe that created the 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 madness over Jordans. That sneaker looks I'm swear to God, I remember I remember when I put the sneaker on, I couldn't even believe how good the shoe looked on my foot. And I was just like, you know, and I think everybody else in Atlanta was feeling the exact same way. Like, you know, you wear a you buy, buy a sneaker, come out, you go to a mall. Like, everything in Atlanta used to be about me going to the mall. I go to the mall, that was my barometer and that was my gauge. So I go to Lenox Square and I see everybody with these fucking sneakers on. I'm like, yo, this gotta be the hardest Jordan that ever came out. And when that patent leather, it was just like, they did something that nobody had ever seen. When I'm talking about at the time it, when the sneaker came out. It's, it's a long time ago for me to remember that, but when that sneaker came out, them 11s, them black and red 11s definitely are the sneaker who, that created the craze. Because I, I seen the ones come out, and I seen, I mean, I, like I said, I, I, was a, I was there in living color when these sneakers actually was really released in real life. So in real life, when the Jordan craze became, it was those. And then after that, the Space Jams was like, Everything after the 11s was that's when the craze of Michael Jordan came. Like so, people, like people, weren't even really tripping on the the threes and the fours. And even as flies they are, people wasn't really acting like that. Like Spike Lee them was wearing them and 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 do the right thing and stuff like that. But them sneakers didn't have that impact on the hood. The hood got a hold of them patent leather shits. It was over with. Right. No, I remember uh, <laughs> Slim Thug used to say that the people was losing their life over the cool gray uh, huh? 11s. Like the cool gray 11s? Yeah, they, they patent leather though, right? Yeah, they patent leather. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm telling you. It's that <laughs> patent leather. When they put that on the sneaker, that changed the whole, like that threw the game into a whole different place. Like everybody had to have them. And if you didn't have them, I'm guessing that's why the, you know, the violence came about. And I, you know, that, that shouldn't happen. I'm not condoning the violence. I'm just letting people know that for those like this guy, 23 years old, that don't even know. How old was you in 92? Two. So for everyone that was <laughs> two years old that don't even understand what I'm talking about because you wasn't there, that what you're wearing now, the, the 11s, the patent leather black and red 11s are the ones that created the pandemonium for people going to get Jordans right now, as far as I'm concerned. Jimmy, how do you feel about how they keep taking every classic Jordan and keep coming out with all these different colors? over and over again just like. I mean I think it's great cuz I mean like I said I think you know even for me I like somebody's asking me I I mean although I have every pair and you know I could just come out and be like oh I got the originals like these are originals these are not like these ain't repackages but when did those come out I don't know what year they came out but they they you know it's like it's not a you know um but when they put when they do to put the repackage out um, it's good if you want fresh pair of sneakers. So I'm always happy that they put out a right, fresh pair. Right, because you know the soles start to get yellow after a while. Yeah, yeah. And... like if they just sit around, like like in the thousand pair of sneakers that I'm saying, I probably would never wear them because, you know, they all the soles is yellow and this, that, and the third. So it's like, I mean, you pull them out. You can pull them out and have a yellow sole if you want to be let people know I'm a sneakerhead. Yeah, I was gonna say a lot of people I know. One of my boys got them and like. All his joints be yeah. He likes to buy them when they're yellow. Like he got like yeah. He that's, gets a, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's a sneakerhead thing. Yeah. You're a sneakerhead. Of course they've been sitting around, right? But you know you're supposed to preserve them and put them inside a little box so that they plastic you know, saran wrap. Yeah, you supposed them. to you know you <laughs> if you're a real sneakerhead, you're supposed to have them done in the right way. But you know.